Hey, thanks for joining us once again here at smallcapvoice.com where you can see I've got a couple of guests today. We're lucky enough to be joined by Cliff Emmons, CEO of IIOT Oxus, ticker symbol on the OTC, I-T-O-X. I'm going to give you a headline because then that'll tell you who our next guest is. IIOT Oxus onboards new advisor to accelerate industry 4.0 business vertical growth and announces upcoming speaker event with the CEO. The dateline on that is Friday, November 18th. And we are welcoming here to this video podcast, Robert Mercer. And is that Robert Mercier or Robert Mercer? Mercier is fine. Okay. And he's coming on to the advisory board as a technical sales consultant. Bob, welcome first and foremost to IIoT Oxus, and thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you, Stuart. Uh, First, I'll give you a little background on on, uh, my work history and and, uh, education. Uh, I got my undergraduate degree in engineering and operations management uh, a few years back. Uh, Started Actually started my engineering work uh, within the aerospace um, uh, with a company, a small company named Pratt & Whitney. Uh, from there, um, it was about two years later, um, I saw an opening for um, a position with a, a medical device company. Uh, this company happened to be U.S. Surgical in North Haven, Connecticut. Um, so I started my career out with uh, United States Surgical and um uh, as probably a lot of people know, U.S. Surgical had tremendous growth, and um, I progressed through uh, various positions with U.S. Surgical. Eventually, they got up, bought out by Tyco Healthcare, uh, Covidian, and then ultimately Medtronics. Uh, but through all those phases, I went from you know uh, a junior level engineer to a manager, director. Uh, at that point, I believe uh, I did get my master's. Uh, in engineering management, uh, which uh, actually afforded me the opportunity to move on to a senior director role. Um, From there, I I took on uh, uh, larger and larger roles uh, within um, Covidian, namely in mergers, acquisitions, um, and a few other other jobs. But uh, eventually, I moved on to uh, a vice president of contract design and manufacturing, um, which which I love because uh, it afforded me to travel around the world. Um, we got involved with a lot of the uh, actually R and D startups in China, India. Um, uh, traveled to Singapore, Brazil, um, quite a few co- uh, countries uh, in an effort to start up uh, R and D satellites. And I came in and did the operations piece of that. Uh, so a tremendous amount of experience out there um, with medical devices. Um, and then eventually I, I left the company and actually started my own company, RJ Medical Consulting. And I did that for uh, several years, uh, worked with a, um, a smaller orthopedic company, which in which I helped them with their ROIs for some of their um, products that were in design and development. Um, and from there, they actually uh, asked me if I wanted to run a smaller part of their division um, as a general manager, and that happened to be in the solar commercial market. Uh, so, um, so I took on that role uh, and basically did everything from sales and marketing to engineering and design. Uh, actually ended up getting a couple patents as well, my name on a couple patents. So it was fun, enjoyable. Um, a really great experience uh, in doing that, and um, and that's that's a kind of high level, you know, some of my background and experience. Highly capable and obviously highly motivated, and that's what attracted, uh, of course, the team at IIoT Oxus. But let's talk a little bit about how you met Cliff and what led to you coming on board with IIoT Oxus. Well, very early on, actually, Cliff and I worked in the same engineering group. And then eventually Cliff went on to R&D and uh, our paths crossed again when I mentioned about China and India and R&D startups. So actually Cliff was leading the R&D engineering piece of it. And um, I took on a position where from an operations standpoint, uh, Cliff was paving the path for R&D startups. And I came in behind Cliff 
and set up the operations piece of it uh, so we could have the, the basic operation functions from uh, finance to, to purchasing, um, you know, securing material. And, um, and that's what led us to, to work together again for a period of time um, in setting up these R&D centers, uh, like I said, in India and China, Brazil. Uh, so that's how we basically got reconnected <laughs> in our, our, our career paths. Um, but we've had a long, um, a very positive, good working relationship over that period of time. And um, what led me back into working with Cliff is that um, approximately six months ago, uh, he was filling me in like he usually does about, you know, the technology and what he's uh, what he's been working on. And um, I, I was just transitioning uh, from another job. So we had a long discussion in regards to um, IoT, uh, where that technology is, is going. Um, and, and I see it very uh, cutting edge and um, always like being uh, involved with any high tech companies. Um, and this seemed like a great opportunity only because of the explosion right now with Industry 4.0 and the digital transformation. Uh, so I, I think it's a great time to um, once again, <laughs> hook up with, with Cliff. Uh, but also to um, to expand um, my knowledge and also offer, you know, some support and help to Cliff in regards to uh, my experience with uh, medical devices, my experience with machine shops um, and paving the way for um, some new customers to, to come into the company. Well, Cliff, we can see why you would be excited to, and I'm looking at my notes here, Robert's in the press release, and I see you refer to him as Bob throughout, so you guys are already as, you have a long history, so you're friendly with each other. Uh, talk to me a little bit about not just the excitement, but what do you see as Bob's contribution to the future growth of Oxus here? Absolutely, and, and you're you're precisely correct about how excited we are to, to bring Bob on. First of all, there, there is a direct connection to our focus on Industry 4.0, which we all know is also known as smart manufacturing. And in the past year, our focus has been to penetrate the discrete manufacturing segment uh, where we can leverage our experience with medical device supply chain vendors. And this is where Bob's experience and contacts literally have amped up our ability to tap into the leaders of these small and medium-sized enterprises. And that's what's allowed us to progress very quickly over the past few months. Secondly, Bob's hands-on experience uh, taking a, a small emerging business and applying strong sales and marketing skills along with his, his depth of engineering knowledge to rapidly grow organic sales in an industrial commercial sector. And that's exactly what we need to do uh, for our industry 4.0 business segment. Well, thanks Cliff. That's even more great insights on Bob's experience. And Bob, your experience, let's talk about it specifically moving forward on how you were able to generate growth uh, at your previous company and how that translates into the work you'll be doing with Cliff and his team. Sure. Um, so the, the the prior company I worked for, um, it, as I mentioned, it was commercial solar sales, um, and and with that, uh, when I when I first got there, uh, there there were a lot of opportunities that I could see on the table. Um, the first thing, you know, being having an engineering background, I wanted to expand their product portfolio. They only had a couple offerings. Um, and I was able to help them with a design in bringing two new products to the market um, and actually getting my name on a couple patents as well. So that was exciting at that point. Um, but also I looked at the business a, as a whole and uh, looked at what's going to really generate um, excitement out there in the marketplace for these new products we we're putting out there. Uh, so there was a lot of opportunity in updating their website, um, getting the right product portfolio on their website. Uh, social media played a big role in in um, in driving sales. So my focus for uh, a period of time was really uh, social media and how do we drive uh, consistent sales month over month. Um, and uh, in an effort in doing that, we're able to create double digit 
um, growth opportunity for the company and and really drive double digit sales for um, two and a half years in a row. So, you know, that that was that was exciting at that point. But um, but we had to further do more than that in order to continue to drive sales. And we opened up opportunities for educate educational training videos. And that seemed to um, that seemed to really start to drive um, not only uh, folks to our website, but also the fact that they were doing the training and calling us for for support and help. Um, continued to um, really cement, you know, our, our, our sales. And, um, and there was other things that we had to do. And that was, you know, trade show exposure and inc increased the frequency uh, started to, to really lay out, you know, a strategy, a sales strategy, not only for New England, but for the rest of the United States. Um, and then continually driving uh, the, um, the contacts that were needed in order to drive those sales. Uh, so that there was a lot to do in a short period of time, but it was um, it was fun because coming from a larger company to a smaller company, sometimes that's a tough transition. Uh, but in this case, we're able, you know, with the with the help of a lot of good people, uh, we're able to really drive uh, the business forward and, like I said, increase sales year over year. Well, a lot of corollaries there to where you're uh, going to be doing and what you're going to be doing with iTox here with quite a bit needing to be done in a short period of time. But hey, what is that other than exciting? And uh, Cliff, I know you're excited. I've seen you smiling and nodding along. So you've put so much thought into the industry 4.0 growth strategy for, for the listeners and of course the investors and of course your faithful shareholders. Let's get you to wrap it up for us, giving us what maybe some of these people can expect from these current efforts. Absolutely. So there are some key takeaways here. First of all, with Bob's help, we've been able to create a strategic plan to organically grow our Industry 4.0 business segment uh, over the next 90 days and beyond. Secondly, through his contacts, we've already signed a new NDA uh, with a Northeast CNC machining house. And we've already had several deep dive discussions with that prospect on how we can help them. Also, because of those discussions, we're on track to announce the kickoff of a new pr uh, proof of concept engagement with this prospective customer before the end of Q4 2022. Well, I want to tell everybody what a great time it is, as I always do, to take a look at IIoT Oxus, ticker symbol ITOX, pulling from that recent press release. His energy and diligence has helped us move the needle with our smart manufacturing, aka Industry 4.0, market penetration. Uh, first off to you, Cliff. Thanks for the time today, Cliff, as always. Thanks. And you know something, Stuart? We're just getting start started. More growth on the way in 2023. And Bob, thank you so much for your time. Wonderful to meet you. I know the investors and shareholders are going to be excited to hear from more, more from you as well as the entire team at IIoT Oxus. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Stuart. All right. For Bob and Cliff, this is Stuart Smith saying thanks once again for sticking around and tuning in. We've got more shows coming up next. And of course, check us out on our Discord channel and the newly launched Stuart Smith Twitter handle as if there's not enough ways to find out about our clients. Now you can see it through the perspective of the host. We've got new cameras being set up and all kinds of fun stuff. So for Cliff and Bob, this is Stuart Smith saying thanks so much for tuning in.